Hey guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we're gonna hit a full body Pilates workout. Um, we're gonna get started on the mat. You don't need any equipment, so let's get right into it. First thing I want you to do is just take a seat. You're gonna give me some wrist circles. Nice quick warm up, just circle them one way and reverse. Our first move is going to be a reverse tabletop. So that is our front plank. Just wanna get those hands warm before we get into it. Give me a couple fists to palm, squeeze, release. Nice and quick, give me 10 of these. It's gonna get us ready to get up onto those wrists. In four, three, two, one. Okay, shake that off. You're gonna first plant your feet, hips distance parallel. Hands are gonna be planted with your fingers pointing forward. Chest is gonna open up. You're going to draw a hip circle. So first I want you to just hover your hips. We're gonna circle counterclockwise first. Hips go right, they drive up through center, left, they lower down just to a hover. To the right, drive up through center. I'm squeezing my glutes there. We take it left, down through the middle. Good, so I'm making a circular action with my hips. My hands and my feet are planted on the mat. And I'm waking up the back line of the body here. So this is the posterior chain. So back of the legs, hamstrings, glutes, and our postural muscles. So that upper back, we wanna feel those muscles drawing together. So I want you to exhale as you drive up through center, inhale as you take it down. Good, you're gonna give me two more in this direction. Good, last one. We're gonna take it to the bottom and reverse. So we're gonna slide it left, center, big squeeze, right, lower down. Good, that's it. We are here in London today at the Ham Yard Hotel, which is just a beautiful hotel. I've really been enjoying this trip. This is our last day of our vacation, so I thought, what better way to end it than a workout with you guys. Good, we're gonna take two more right here, last two. Final one, all the way around the world. Good, and hover it right in the center. I want you to lift your hips up, okay? Everything is equally weighted, hands and feet. We're gonna extend the left leg straight forward, thighs line up. Try not to let any part of your pelvis dip down as you slide your left leg directly left. Pull it back in line with the hip. Bend the knee, plant the foot. Bring a lot of weight into that left foot. Lift those hips. Extend your right leg straight forward. Thighs are lining up. Both of your hip bones should be level. Then we slide like a windshield wiper over to the right. We pull it back in. Bend the knee. Set the foot down. So you're going to continue to alternate. And the idea is that you've got a marble on your belly. And you don't want that marble to roll off, okay? So this exercise is our pelvic stability, but it's super advanced because we're up in this reverse tabletop. So one of your other focuses is really driving those hips up, yeah? So I don't want your hips down here, I want them really lifted, okay? Make sure if you're a hyper extender, you aren't popping through your elbows. So maybe take a little bend there. Lengthen, sweep right, draw it in, bend the knee. Good, let's go for four more right here. This is also going to help us strengthen our lower back, which we love. <laughs> Good, last one to each side. Left leg extends, sweep it left, draw it in, Bend the knee, right leg extends, sweep it right, draw it in, bend the knee. Set the hips down, turn the hands out. So thumbs on the outside, palms are planted, open the chest. You're gonna lift everything up. We're gonna take it into some extension. So your hips are gonna stay still. You're gonna inhale, lift the chest, draw your upper back muscles together and then gaze backwards. Exhale, tuck your chin and return. So thoracic extension. Think of puffing up through your heart and then curling back through that cervical spine. 
tuck the chin, return. One more. Inhale, puff the chest, open up, looking back, tuck the chin, lower the hips down. So we're gonna take our legs to a three quarter bend, heels are on the mat, feet are flexed, arms reach forward. Drop those shoulders down. I want you to curl back till you feel like you can balance. It's challenging, but you're not gonna fall backwards. Stomach is in, little C shape. Take it into some twists. So that right arm's gonna reach right. Then the left arm's gonna reach to the right to meet it. Exhale through center, taking it left. Left arm turns you left. Right arm reaches for it. And then return through center. We take it right, left arm follows, we pull it back through center. So now we're getting into some rotation through the waist. So what I'm looking for here from you is that your legs don't twist with you, that it is just around the middle of your torso. If you need it to be a little bit more challenging, then I would take it back another inch or two. Make sure when you curl back, you don't start to round into your head. So still have that nice natural curve in the neck. I want you to breathe out as you bring it back through center. Inhale as you go into the twist. Turn, turn, turn. Exhale, return to center. Okay, tightening those low belly stomach muscles. Pull them in on that exhale. One more each way. We go right, right, exhale, center. We go left, left, exhale, center. Now open up through the chest and then float your feet and draw your inner thighs together. So this is our teaser. If you're more advanced, you can extend those legs straight. I want you to try to keep your heart lifted and your neck long. There is a little C curve in that low back, and that's where we're pulling the abdominals into that low back. As you inhale, the legs are gonna separate. As you exhale, you're gonna press the legs together and fire inner thighs up. Inhale, separate. Exhale, draw it in. Very nice. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's see if we can get a little bit more lift in the posture. Nice work, guys. We're really starting to find that core today. You're gonna give me five more right here for five. And four. For three. And two. Final one. I'm going to slow roll down, lowering the upper body and lower body at the same pace, taking it all the way to the mat. Okay, you're going to bend your knees, plant your feet hips distance apart and parallel. Arms plant by your sides, left leg extends straight up to the ceiling. You're going to drive your hips up into a single leg bridge, neutral spine here, and we're going to hold. So I want you to take a little peek at your hips. Make sure this lifted leg, the left hip, is just as high as the right hip. Power down through the right foot. So I would think about your right foot right now. Where do you feel the pressure of the foot into the ground? I want you to feel your heel and your toes and the inner foot and the outer foot. So pinky side and big toe side. Now we're in an isometric hold. If you're kind of hanging in the middle space and you're not high enough, it's not going to feel like much work. I need you to drive your hips up and really fire up the back of this right leg. That is what's holding you in this challenging position. Okay, we're going for a full minute here. You got about 20 seconds left. I want you to close your eyes, connect to that right glute. Squeeze that right glute into a fist. Make it really work for you. We're here for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale the hips to the mat. Place that left foot down. Extend the right leg straight up to the ceiling. Drive down through the left foot and lift the hips. Okay? Take that little peek. Make sure your right hip is just as high as the left. So what we don't want the, to do is the pelvis to be tilted. We want it to be level. Both hip bones shine straight up. Push into your arms. 
to keep your chest spreading open. Back of the head could gently push back into the floor. Okay, let's think about the left foot. Sometimes we have different imbalances from one side to the other. So check in. Toes should not be curling up like that. They should be nice and long. Pressing into the mat. Inner heel, outer heel heavy. Big toe, pinky toe heavy. And now I'm squeezing this left glute for dear life. Trying to connect to it. Okay guys, we've got 12 seconds left. Breathing in and out, we're here for 10. Nine, can you lift a little more for me? Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hips come down, feet come down. Okay, roll over to face me. We're gonna be coming onto that right forearm. Elbow underneath shoulder, right foot in front, feet are flexed, left foot in back, so on the edges of the feet. Top arm can reach up or be on your hip. We're gonna lift up through our side body. I want you to squeeze through your right side. So another really important isometric engagement to work the oblique is that we're not in this middle space. We're really lifted so that we can feel this side crunching together and contracting. So that's the key to get the oblique to work here. We definitely have some shoulder and some outer hip work occurring as well, but we wanna use this side plank to activate the abs. So lift high enough so that you can feel that firing up. Okay, chest is open. We're gonna pulse into this. So you're gonna up an inch, you're gonna squeeze tighter, little release. Up an inch, squeeze tighter, little release. Maybe you even put your hand there to feel that area fire up. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, you got it. Give me eight more right here, eight, seven. It's not fast, it's slow. We're really thinking about the muscles we want to work. And four, for three, and two, hold it up on one. Your bottom leg is going to lift, so point the right toes. We're gonna lift, squeeze that right leg up, tap it to the mat. Lift, squeeze that right leg up, tap it to the mat. You got it. Still powering up through that bottom waistline. Still smiling. We love a challenge. I like to throw it in there. <laughs> Give me five more right here. We got five and four for three and two and one float it all the way down turn onto your belly so your chest is going to face the floor but your legs are going to be twisted okay so hands are going to be underneath the shoulders you're going to turn your toes to the left so toes and knees point left hips point left your chest is gonna to twist to the right. So you're trying to really rotate through the middle of the body. You're gonna inhale, lower the chest to the mat. Hips are turned, chest is squared. Exhale, press up, cobra. And inhale, we take it down. Exhale, we press it up. So you can feel that we're stretching out the obliques. This is from the exercise snake on the reformer. Inhale, we rise up. You're trying to turn towards that right shoulder. And exhale, we take it down. Let's take one more. Inhale, we rise up. And exhale, we take it down. Amazing. Let's press it on up. We're gonna take it into our other side plank. So now we're coming on to that left forearm. Elbow underneath the shoulder. We're gonna work into that left oblique. So that first minute is just our hold. Bottom foot forward, top foot back, we're staggered. And then we lift up through our side. Now we're not in that middle space, we're high up. Okay, I'm actively pushing down through my forearm. That's gonna give me that extra lift and contraction I'm looking for. Shoulders, hips are stacked. And I'm pushing into my feet as well. So watch my feet, if my legs are not active, my hips are gonna be here. If my legs are active, I'm pushing the ground away, that's where my hips just went. That is gonna help you get the squeeze we're looking for, that contraction. 
the obliques are part of the layers of the abdominal wall, we want to work them all. Okay, we're nice, high, and lifted through our side. We're smiling, we're enjoying every moment here. Good. Okay, we got about 20 seconds left, and then we take it into those slow, controlled pulses. You've got 10 seconds. Good, can you lift a little higher? Think about where we're engaging. Here we go. Down an inch, up squeeze. Down an inch, up squeeze. Good, I really like to pause on the squeeze. Okay, that's it. Give me eight and seven. Good. If it ever bothers your neck, I suggest just looking to the floor. That always helps take it out. In four, we're moving to that inner thigh move. In three and two. Last one, plant your back foot, point the left toes, lift, squeeze, tap it down. Lift, squeeze, tap it down, very nice. Exhale up, inhale lower. We got seven, six, five, four, three. Tighten those legs at the top, two, and one. Okay, coming down, laying on the belly for our snake move from the reformer, doing it on the mat. So hands are wide. I'm doing it at shoulder height. If you have more of like a tight low back, do your hands higher up. Turn your legs to the right with your legs staggered. You're on the edges of the feet, turn the chest left. As you inhale, peel the chest up. You'll get a big stretch in that left oblique. Exhale, roll it down to the mat. Inhale to left. Exhale to lower. Okay, so I'm letting my hip bones turn, turn to the right, but I'm trying to turn the chest to the left. Let's take one more. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, lower on down. Okay guys, we are into some more like working extension. The last one was supported. We had our hands down. This will be less supportive. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna bring those arms by your sides with the palms facing the floor. I want you to float everything up. Lift your legs higher. Turn your knees towards each other. That's gonna be a true parallel. So if you're a dancer and you like to turn out here, we're taking it from the outer hips to the hamstrings. So you wanna think of inner thighs rolling upwards towards the ceiling. With the arms facing the ground, I want you to lift your arms up higher and find that work between the shoulder blades. Then the gaze is to the floor, but what we're careful about is the head being below the line of the spine. So those rear neck muscles are holding that head up. So again, lift everything up a little higher, fire the glutes, fire the upper back, fire those rear neck muscles. We got a nice hold here. Okay, so I want to also think of length now. Reach energy back through the toes, reach energy forward through the crown of the head as if you are a piece of taffy and someone is pulling you in two directions. Okay, I want you to squeeze your glutes in your back really tight for our last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Float it down, press back, child's pose. Release the low back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, we're gonna climb back forward and take it into our push-up series. Okay, so first we're gonna find a high plank. Hands are gonna be planted wide. So for my push-ups, I prefer a little bit more space for my chest. So I take the mat distance instead of underneath my shoulders. So a little wider with those hands. If you need more support, you could always be down in your modified plank. Otherwise, bring your body up, lock your inner thighs together, and squeeze your tush. We're in a plank, we're good. We're gonna take it to some push-ups. So we're gonna do a little tempo here. You're gonna go down quick and up slow. That's where we start. So let's take it all the way down. And now you're gonna press up slow. One, two, three. Take it all the way down. Press up slow. One, two, 
three, you got it. All the way down, press up slow. One, two, three. All the way down, press up slow. One, two, three. We're gonna switch it, okay? So we go down slow. We go down slow. One, two, three. Drive it up quick, one breath. Inhale down, one, two, three. Drive it up, exhale up. Inhale down, one, two, three. Breathe out, drive it up, last one. Inhale down, one, two, three. Drive it up. Okay, hold that plank. We're gonna take it into singles. One count up, one count down. Focus on the breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale down. Exhale up. You got it, inhale down. Exhale up, pull those shoulders off the neck. Let's go six more. We got this for five. Keep that stomach strong. Four and three. Final two. Last one, let's go. And one. Take it down onto your knees. Come off those hands. Good work. Push-ups are never easy, but we made it. Okay, we're gonna come into some standing work. So left foot's gonna come forward. Right toes are gonna tuck behind you. Chest is open, we're into our lunges. We're gonna drive up off the mat. You come all the way down, set the knee down, rest. Drive up through the front heel, squeeze the left glute. Come all the way down, let the knee set. Up and drive, and down and rest. Good. So this is like a functional way of doing a lunge. One, teaching you to get really low. And two, it's important, especially as we get older, if we fall, we can get ourselves up off the ground. Good, five more right here. Down and up, recovering that breath from those push-ups. Four. Good, and three. For two, last one, and one. Coming up, coming halfway down, freezing, nothing moves, heavy front heel, chest open. How low can we sit into it? Think of putting more weight in this front heel. So rather than in the back knee, that front foot is carrying you through this hold. We got it. We're low, we're strong. We're sinking into it. Listen to your breath. Try to calm it down. You're up for the challenge. We're already way into this workout. You're not going anywhere. It's me and you, baby. We're doing it together. Give me 20 seconds. Breathe in. Breathe out. In 10, we got a little change. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, heavy front heel, four, three, two, one, we pulse down, up, nice and slow, down, up, you got it, one inch up, one inch down, for seven, and six, for five, and four, for three, and two, Hold it low, I need 10 fast right here. Hands to the heart, pray for yourself. We're getting through it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drive it up. Okay, you're gonna take it all the way down. Step to kneeling. We switch, that right foot comes forward. Hands to the hips, left toes tuck. Drive up through the right heel. Take it all the way down, rest the left knee. Exhale up, inhale down. Starting to get sweaty? Me too. Okay, I'm taking my time with this first move. It's not a rush. I'm connecting to the back of my right leg. Okay, squeeze my glute every time I stand. Good, for five. And four. For three, and two, 
Okay, last one. Drive it all the way up. Come halfway down. Heavy front heel. You're sinking as low as you can into it. Wiggle out the front toes. They are down, but I don't want you to grip the mat or shift too far forward in this knee. So right knee over the heel. We're dropping lower every couple minutes, reminding ourselves to sit into it. We're strong. We got this. Okay, that is halfway, my friends. 30 seconds. We go slow pulses. We go quick pulses. That is our series. Okay, sit a little lower. I can slowly feel the creep upwards. <laughs> Let's creep downwards. Ah, breathe in, breathe out. Oh, baby. Okay, those slow pulses are coming on in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Here we go. Down, up. Drive through that front heel. Don't rely on that back leg. Good. We've got 7, 6. How low are you? Can we go a little lower together? And 4, three this is what counts two hang in there one let's make it fast ten nine eight seven almost six five four three two one stand it up take it down <laughs> Okay guys, we hit the hamstrings, we definitely just got the thighs. It is time to hit those outer hips. So, bring it on to kneeling sideways facing me. Extend your right leg out to the right. You're gonna land that right foot in line with the left knee. Open your arms to a T and take a side stretch to the left. Place your right hand on your hip. Point through the right toes. Keep your body weight over your knee rather than into that left hand. We're gonna float the leg up. Staying parallel here, we're gonna take it into leg circles. We're going for a big range of motion. So first I'm gonna come forward, taking it down just to a hover, sweeping back without overarching that low back, and then lifting up and around. As far front, as far back, that's where that hamstring glute connects, outer hip on the lift. Okay, so we're taking it around the world without moving through the spine. Big range of motion. Sweep it back, feel the back like fire, lift it up, kneecap forward, take it down through the center. So take your time with these. It is not a rush. I want you to stay in the work. So squeeze back, lift up, circle it around. You got it, we got five more for five. <sighs> Trying to keep my hips pressing forward, so my hips and that left knee stack. Four, <sighs> three, <sighs> two, <sighs> okay, one more, one. Now we're going to reverse, so we go forward low, lift up, bring it around to the back, and down. Forward low, kneecap stays parallel all the way around. I like to put my hand on my tush so I can feel those muscles lighting up. Forward low, I can raise the mat up and around to the back. Okay, so if you're familiar with ballet, this is like a rom de jam. It's exactly what it is. But you are trying to not let your hips, your spine, move because that will let the range of motion be bigger but not from the right place good i want you to inhale forward exhale up and around okay you're gonna give me five more for five a nice job and four Woo. for three Love me a leg circle. Last two. Final one. Sweep it forward, up, and around. Amazing. Okay, so we've got 10 each way on the other side. So that left leg extends left. Right hand takes you into the side bend, hand underneath the shoulder. 
press your pelvis forward. So we're gonna take that front leg, that top leg, the left leg, we're gonna go to the front and low, big lift, back and around. To the front and low, big lift, back and around. Okay, I'm trying to keep this right hip over the right knee. Awesome work. I'm trying to keep that left knee parallel. Okay, the second side's gonna be a little bit more fatigued because even though it looks like we're just kneeling on this bottom hip, it's actually doing quite a bit of stability. It's working for us. <sighs> nice job, we got about five more. For five, take your time at the top. Hang in the sunshine. Four, three, two, final one, one. Okay, so we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna sweep it back low, lift it up from the back, bring it forward high. Sweep it back low, hug that hamstring forward and down. Yeah, I feel like this direction's harder for me. So that means I'm gonna use more concentration. Right, sweep it back low, base of that glute and hamstring, fire up, bring it around to the front. Good, we got five more right here. For five. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. The last three. And two. I'm shaking. Last one. Make it the best one, take your time. And one. Okay, my friends, we're taking it to the abs. So come to lay down on your back with me. We're gonna just bend those knees and plant the feet. And then you're gonna take your hands, place them behind your head. So I want you to pull your abs in to the mat beneath you. We're gonna start with a regular chest curl. So you're gonna breathe out, lift up. I don't want you here, I want you to a little higher. This is where we wanna to try to crease. So if we live just from the neck, we're not really getting into the abs. We're just bending the head, yeah? We gotta crease from the center of that torso. That's where the core lives. And then inhale, take it down. So let's start with something super simple, like a crunch, to just connect. Yeah, we haven't done crunches yet. We haven't done very specific center core work. So let's take a moment to just think about what we're doing. We lift up, up, up. We draw the stomach in. We inhale, take it down. As you curl up, look at your abs and pull them down. Inhale, lower. Okay, so as this upper part of your back is moving up and down, I do not want your hips moving. Okay, so they're completely, slightly tilted towards your face and still. Okay, we're gonna go for five more. Breathe out. Breathe in. Nice job. And three. For two. Okay, you're gonna hold this next one up on one. I'm gonna reach my hands forward. Option, keep your hands behind your head. And you're gonna give me little lifts through your chest. Okay, this is all from the abs. Okay, so this is momentum. Slow it down. Little squeezes through your core. You wanna see the skin and your waist pinching together. That's a good sign. <laughs> Make a little roll there. Good, exhale and inhale. We got 10, nine. Literally feel your back move an inch off the mat and then an inch onto the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna reach your arms in between your legs, curl up. Reach your arms outside of your legs, curl up. Little lifts. Exhale through that mouth. 
Breathe like you're trying to fog a mirror. Relax your neck. You got it. Sit up into it. Good. Let's pick the pace up. We got 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, don't go anywhere, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, come back to center, quick pulses, go for it, lift up, in, up, close your eyes, keep breathing, last 20, keep the pace fast, now 15, we got 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, upper abs, good work. Legs to tabletop. Glue them together. Low back is planted. You're gonna dip both toes towards the floor. They're at a hover. Pause. See if your back has arched at all. Pull it down. Ribs connected. No space between your spine. Lift up. So I want that hover each time. Take it down, you're an inch off the ground, squeeze your inner thighs, pull your core down to the floor, and then slowly return. Good, so we're keeping that hold. We go down, freeze, connect the ribs, pull the low belly into the mat, lift. That's it. Take it down, freeze. Exhale, pull up. Good, I, my abs are quivering, are yours too? <laughs> Take it down. Freeze. Exhale to draw up. That's it. Take it down. Freeze. Exhale to pull up. Okay, we got three more. Take it down. Freeze. Exhale to pull up. Good, last two. Take it down. Freeze. Exhale to pull up. This time you're gonna hold it low at that one inch hover. You're gonna lift your legs up an inch down an inch. So you're pulsing the legs, they stay in the same shape. Movement from the hip socket. We're as low as we can go. If you need to modify, you can be higher up right here. If you're more advanced, get those toes to just barely be off the mat. Good, connect to the abs. Okay, we're gonna stay low, open, close the legs. So we go mat distance, pulse the legs, we're back together, pulse the legs. So stay low, open, pulse, close, pulse. Suck the abs in, open pulse, close pulse. Option to add the head, neck, and shoulders. Open pulse, close pulse. Reach through those arms, try to touch the bottom of the mat. Good work. When you're up, it's easy to see those core muscles. It's a good idea to pull them in deeper. We're gonna just hold it wide, little pulses. Exhale as you lift. Pulse those abs in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're going to put upper and lower together in 4, 3, 2. Legs keep going. You're going to sit up into it. Little release. Knees and chest come together. Little release. Put your mind in your abs, pull them in. We got 10. Last seven. We have five and four for three and two. Last one. Take it down, knees in. Good work. Okay, we're gonna bring those knees into a tight ball. This is gonna be our reverse crunch. Hands are gonna be planted on the mat. So you're gonna roll your knees to your face, roll down slow, extend the legs out, pull them in. Roll up, roll down slow, extend the legs out, pull them in. Four part breathing, exhale, roll in. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, extend out. 
Inhale, pull in. Okay, make sure when you go into the reverse curl, you don't kick your feet away from you. So heels close to your tush as you roll it up. Nice job. You can also lift that chest up if we want to make it a little bit more toasty. Beautiful, guys. You're going to finish here in seven. Six. Five. Let's sit a little higher with that chest. Relax the neck. Four. Shoot those legs low. Three. Two. Last one. One. Hug those knees in. Woo, good work, core. Okay, set your feet as wide as the mat. You're gonna knock your knees right, left. We're gonna twist through the abs. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna stretch it out now. Knees are gonna rock left. Take the left leg, cross it over the right leg, and just gently weight that right knee down. Take a big deep breath in, and a big deep breath out. Be proud of your hard work. This is the time to be like, yeah, I did it. Okay, you're gonna roll it through center, uncross the legs, both knees go to the right. Right leg crosses over the outside of the left leg. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Okay, bring it through center. Extend the legs long, flex your feet, have them about hips distance apart. Interlace your fingers and then stretch your arms overhead and then pull yourself apart. Create a lot of length here. Oh yeah, that feels good on the lats. Good, release that. Tuck your chin, roll up. Come to face me. We're gonna take an outer hip stretch. You can bring your left knee in line with your ankle. Cross your right leg on the outside of that. And we're gonna walk it straight forward. This is like my all-time favorite stretch for my hips and my low back. Couple deep breaths here. How proud are you of yourself? That was awesome. Okay, both hands are gonna walk right. Continue to melt that chest closer to the legs. Good, both hands walk left. And then bring it in. Let's swap the front leg. So that other leg in front, shins crossed. Walk it forward. Fold into it. Okay, let's walk those hands over to the right. I can feel my back releasing more and more for this one. Feels good. Good, and then both hands walk it left. And bring it in. Okay, let's hit the shoulders. So you're gonna take that right arm across the chest. I always cue a really straight right arm. So try not to bend your elbow. And then you're gonna pull the arm in towards your chest, keeping it straight with your other hand. Good, release. Okay, straight left arm. Use that right hand to pull it into the chest. Ooh, that feels good. Good, and release. You guys have done it once again. Thank you for joining me for my full body Pilates class on the mat, no equipment. I am in a hotel room right now. This just shows you, you can literally get your workout in anytime, anywhere, any method. You know the slogan. So please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to working out with you tomorrow or maybe later in the week. I hope you have a fantastic day. You have set yourself up for it. My name is Lindsay Bushman, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.